father. Why are you doing this? I must do it for mankind. Do you not realize the ruin this could cause? Yes, but I shall endure. Your people will not. This planet will not. Risks are inherent to any situation. As master of mankind, I must make my own decisions on the matter. Even when the stakes are the annihilation of your home and everyone on it? It must be done. Oh, come on, you lot. These are just some harmless questions. You have no say in this, custodian. You have not looked into the repugnant abyss within which we are about to descend. We did sort through the letters together. And I've already done this once before. Father must be correct in your lack of emotions. These questions are giving me the urge to turn every last Imperial in the galaxy into mindless chaos pawns. That way, the galaxy's general intelligence quotient would skyrocket. Oh, they're not that bad. You're just overreacting. Oh, like you and your Tao girlfriend. I swear to fucking that was not canon. I am going to kick the living shit out of your red vein fucking dick. Calm down, children. It is neither your time nor place to be livid. Well, if you are absolutely, completely, utterly, perfectly, entirely, horrifically, purely or politically certain, let us begin. Yes, let me just bounce up and down to get the papers. Alright, first question. Wait. Hmm? I need something first, just in case. That is better. Little Century Bear will be my life buoy in the sea of hit and disgust. First question is from someone called Siren. 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 Th uh. Oh, great savior of mankind. I encrouch on thy busy mind with a question of utmost importance to my mind. Didst thou, in all thy wiseness and foresight, not foresee the great heresy by the arch traitor he whose name I won't speak? Oh, how the fuck did he know that? I eagerly await thy reply, but I must go now, lest the overseer punish me for not sorting through the cactuses in the Lord Governor's garden. Faithful yours, Tharn. Time. Fucking. Is he a time traveling scribe or just dyslectic? That is beside the point. Answer the question! This is amongst the few good ones. Since I am constantly several void whales ahead of anyone else, I am certain I did. But as I have said before, my memory is as fractured as the self-esteem of an overweight Eldar. But I think my expansive knowledge of all that is is still out there, somewhere. No! Slow the Emperor! Why can't you hear me? You must kill the Tau before it's too late! They will destroy us all! Send the Ultramarines to save us! They are our only hope! Throw the Emperor! <laughs> Anyway, next question. O oh, great emperor of mankind, I have thought long and hard about the question I would ask of you. About what a tiny, short-lived, insignificant speck like myself would ask of you, the pinnacle of man. Our most wise, benevolent, and self-sacrificing emperor, truly you are the most compassionate, empathetic being to have ever existed. You have seen us grow, guided us in our darkest hour, helpless as horrors beyond all decency and sense have plagued us. Surely you have seen the these and watched as we gleefully continue to fling ourselves into abandon. Of our own will, with no care to harm we cause, surely it must break your heart. O oh, great man emperor, witness to our greatest of glories and deepest shames, I have thought long and hard over what I would dare ask thee. Why do you still love us? Why do you still even care? Respectfully, your humble servant. My ass must taste of ground beef and rainbows, if it is that delicious focus. I would not be surprised if it does. He does have a very good point. Why do you care? Because I see immense potential in mankind. I cannot even comprehend that, honestly. Maybe it's because I've been in the war for a better part of 10,000 years, but I just see a squabbling herd of animals. I want you to imagine this. Hello there, what is going on? Imagine thousands upon thousands of angelic beings reminiscent of me in my prime. Oh. All united in a peaceful galaxy, in an interstellar imperium where all individuals have attained their own objective perfection. Uh -oh. Without or nor political turbulence, they all lie naked upon a beautiful beach planet, reveling in the ecstasies of human life, and really fucking good hair. Uh -ah. That is what I want for mankind to turn us all into an entire species of divine masterminds with giant gold-coated abs, just like him. I can't take it! 
sorry. I'll take my leave. <clears throat> well, that all sounds like extremely wishful thinking. No, the potential exists. I made you prime marks, remember? Yes, but we were a very special case, were we not? Of course you are special, my little Magni magic. But that does not mean you are anything more than part of a failed batch. What? what Next question, please. Uh, um... This one's from Matthew. To the true Man Emperor of Mankind, why is everything in Imperium painted gold? Because gold is given to those in first place. Every lesser color is relegated to contestants, who cannot keep up because of how much Sinocock they suck. Mankind rules. Oop, oop. Another one related to the gold. From Cain the Governator. Dear Emperor, I am fascinated by the amounts of gold you seem to have in your possession. And I would like to inquire about where did you find so much. You see, I am ruling over a world, and I am considering about making investments gold plating all of my PDF armors to make them more impressive when they perform their crowd control duty against a disgusting populace. Because what fun is there in being wealthy and powerful if you don't use these assets to show off how much better and superior you are than the masses of uncultured plebeians? I'm sure you can relate to such empowering sensation. I don't know how I don't know how he would laugh when he's written down. Maybe he'd go. <laughs> <laughs> Later on, I want you to send an explicit order to the Department of Money Tongram to replace this scroat snake's every order with rusted copper and glitter glue. Next. This one is from CZP Rothon. My Emperor, have you ever considered how much of a dick you were towards Magnus pre and during the Horus Heresy? After Ulamor and then almost to Nikea? And even after that, I mean, have you ever tried to get some help with how to treat your children? Is it enough that they had to grow up without you? You wrote this one, did you not? As a matter of fact, I did not. This person just seems very logical. Pretty sure you did. No, I did not. Yeah, you totally did. No! Yes. Answer it, damn you! I did all I could to prevent you from killing each other out of spite. What great father would not? Good parents do not have children killing each other out of spite! It was mostly because the planets you were raised upon were so gormlessly different that you had been forced fed radically disparate ideals since your birth- So you're blaming our dead adoptive parents now? Mostly the spectral shit stains that put you up for adoption to begin with. Well, you could still have spent more quality time with us. Shut up, I am answering questions here. From an English bee. Oh, mighty emperor, I have a query which has deeply troubled me in my creed. Is your glorious self a bloody necrophiliac with all unhealthy amounts of skulls and all? It is to show that even in its barest form, humanity is beautiful. Have you seen how majestically my cranium curves between my parietals? It is amazing and something that binds us all together. My glorious emperor, does your penis still function? Would you bang a towel if so? By the sounds of things, they'd be too scared to even let me go near them with my enormous fiery great sword. Next. So, Emperor, you ever skip on leg day? Fuck you. My lord Emperor, why doesn't she love me back? If said individual does not respond to your advances, then stop wasting your precious life blood on her, Sonny. Take it from someone who probably ravaged her great 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 grandmother. She is not worth your time. Here is a question from someone called, uh... Carl the Deranged. Oh goodness no. Dear Golden Shitfagger, it's me, your previous chef. Are you in pain? I fucking hope so, you cunt. Mostly I said this to give the one who opens it the Nurgle's rock I packed into it with. Go and fillet another priest, you piece of decomposing garbage. You are atrocious at sorting these. Isn't this the most deadly disease in the galaxy? <sighs> Just refrain from breathing through your nose and you should be fine. This still smells better than the spaghetti he cooked for me. From Joe Argento. Oh glorious emperor of mankind, out of all the chaos gods and the douchebag deities that threaten the Imperium, which one pisses you off the most? That is like asking what kind of brain cancer I prefer. I am too busy frothing and screaming to be able to answer. This question is apparently from a piece of your lost soul, my lord. O oh, glorious vessel of our splintered soul, have you yet asked about what happened to the armor you wore during our duel with fucking Horus? Thank you, glorious space emperor. Your question is grand, just like you. And I do actually remember. For when we were lying around dying after the duel, we lied there, and listed off a couple hundred things those present needed to do if we were to die. Amongst those, I told them to pulverize our armor, and incorporate the fragments into Cruxter me Nevatus badges. Why, though? That sounds like an incredibly nonsensical thing to order when you're in need of urgent medical attention. It was honestly a heat-of-the-moment thing. 
Like, do you know when you are feeling extremely erogenous in bed, and you smack whoever is with you across the face just to see if it feels good? You need to cease and desist right now. NEXT QUESTIONS! This one is from Eliphaz the Inheritor. Hey, Corpse Emperor. Fuck you. <laughs> Next. This one is honestly kind of worrying. I am writing this letter from my hiding place under AgriWorld designation Delta 894571, Calyxis Sector near Hazaroth Abyss. I have sealed my chambers by more time. I sent my ship away with as many refugees as possible that stayed on this doomed world. Emperor, I must warn thee of the greatest threat within this sector, the Tyrant Star. Its origins are unknown, though my sources indicate it may be older than the universe itself. It manifests as a black star, often possessing system's own natural star and shines pale, baleful light. It brings mutation, madness, and untold horrors with it. That star now shines upon this world. I seal this letter into a plasteel box. Within there will be all the files I could gather before I had to hide. I pray it is not yet too late. The clock of Harlox, one I bought from one of his deserted mansions, one that never once has worked, no matter what I did, now counts time to midnight, oiled with the blood of his kin. My hyper-realistic Kirby plushie cried 666 liters of blood for 13.72 seconds. As I lay down my life and soul to save a few others, I pray for all souls in this world and one beyond. May they find shelter, the protection of your light. The scratching of the walls have stopped. They come. That sounds awful. How is anyone going to get 8M if the sun is black? Do you know anything about this atrocity, Bainanian? I have heard of it. It appears out of nowhere and hovers above planets, bringing anarchy and mutation in its wake. A prophetic manuscript called the Hereticus Tenebrae mentions that it is the harbinger of an encroaching darkness. I am naturally not all too into the subject at hand, but this totally sounds like that hopeless vertebrate Malal. Uh, Malal does not even exist. I know. Maybe that Black Sun is actually a reality people, out of his prison of non-existence. Goodness me, do you think he could break free and cause havoc? Hell no. He is an absolute pushover. He probably wrote that prophecy manuscript himself to make it seem like he is an actual threat. When I get out of here, I will be the greatest chaos god ever! I'll fuck them all up! Just you wait, I will become relevant again! Below. Just stop. You just can't keep doing this to yourself. Stop telling me! I will become Kevin! I will! I will! I will! <laughs> Come, I'll make you some hot chocolate. I'd like that. There, there, Malal. There, there. This one appears to be made of me that. This one's from some feral world named Dorvuzak. Uz. Uz. Dorvuzak. Oh, mighty emperor, savior of all mankind. <laughs> Please, do answer me this simple question. What is exactly a fucking man of iron? Imagine a tech priest, but completely mechanical, and absolutely mind-fuckingly dedicated to destroying all human life in the entirety of the galaxy, never ceasing to pursue even the slightest trace of human life until it gets gone down by a Volkite weapon or run over by a massive rolling pin. I would continue to explain more, but the war against the sentient machines lasted for such a short period of time that it is not as important as everyone seems to think. Mr. Imp, do Indian people still exist? What about Arabs? For fuck's sake, why does everyone forget about Dalarn? They've done some good shit, and then their model line gets discontinued because nobody wanted to buy anything that didn't look like Starship Troopers or the offspring of Apis drinking survivalist and a speech impaired boxer. What the fuck are you talking about? Fourth degree interdimensional warfare. Hmm? Next. From Yellow Snowman, may I lick one's holy toes. Immediate restraining order. Next. Have you ever communicated with the Tyranid hive mind? If so, what's it like? It is like talking to a herd of hungry sheep. It is unfulfilling and makes you look like an idiot. Next. Dear fast food franchise. Oh no. I hope this letter reaches you. The burger I ordered got cold after I got home. Replace it for me. The jury on! Yay. Pure love. Nevertheless, I am happy you two idiots do not work for an actual post office. Let's continue. 
Why does everyone hate Eldar so much? Maybe if they were not so far up their own asses their lower intestines resembled life-size plastic casts, I would not want to spank the living shit out of their pointed ass cheeks. That and a couple other reasons which are beside the point. And then she says, Oh, I'm not going to tell you how to prevent this impending doom which threatens us both. <sighs> tell me about it. From Gilgamesh Aurora. Oh my fab emperor. I found the heresy, where do I put it? Shove it in your face and choke on it. Next. Here's one from an Inquisitor, Amberly Mayer. Do you have the Alpha Kai of this game, or is he just unlucky and or a source of entertainment for the Chaos Gods? He is one I have actually perceived visions of during my hours of silence. K of Fast Kane was one of a select few individuals in the Imperium, whom I felt had enough common sense to survive whatever the Chaos Gods threw at him. This is more than I can say for most people who serve me. Also, check his day to slate the next time you see him, to his rate but three as a crowd. Ah ha ha ha. An arbitrator, Judge Modestus. He says, Dear Emperor, what are we going to do with all the Adeptus Forages laying around? Now that you've directly reformed the Ecclesiarchy into a non-religious sect, doesn't that mean the Sororagists will no longer have any power from their now heretical faith? They're about as effective as power-armored nuns without worshipping you as a god. I bring this up because I don't have enough arbites to keep them out of the local taverns, bars, and pubs. We will be out of alcohol in mere months at this rate, and the combined weight of sisters abandoning the shrines to drown their sorrows will collapse the hives on several planets. They need to calm the tits down. If my wish was for anyone to not continue fighting against chaos contrivances and the like, my fragments would probably not have given them the strength to do so. Order the Sorry to send whoever else to get back out there and fight in my name. Tell them that if they do, I will send out special edition Emperor's Sunsai vacation pinups for their enjoyment. If their faith in humanity is so lacking that they leave me out of its category, let them be enlightened by what perfect fucking pecs humanity and humanity alone can grace the galaxy with. Our next message is from... Him. The Millennial. Oh. That guy. Who? Hey, Amps. I've been out here leading the Alpha Crusade for a while, and a guy from the Flesh Terrors keeps saying that he hopes some guy called Sanguidio will help us. From what he described, and from what I've read, the Sanguidio sounds like your son Sanguinius. Just wondering. Is it really him after all those years? I was there when my son died. I saw his body, felt no life from his flesh. Whatever fucking Horus had done to him, he could not be brought back. Sniff. If the Sanguiner is really even a fragment of the only one of my children, that laid his life down for me. Hopefully he knows that daddy misses him very much. Sniff sniff. Sob. Yay. Well, father, did you get what you wanted out of this? Yes. This put me more into balance, and the time I surfed a space hulk in the warp, and smashed it right into one of Singe's crystal garden planets. You did what?! And what do you want me to do with the rest of the letters, my lord? Keep them around. The last thing I want is more questions to be turned into some little kid space marine costume, when some random adept is sent to manage the pile. That's how it is, isn't it? Always having other people do the dirty work for you. I mean, it's not like he can fucking move or anything, Magnus. Oh, wait! You need to shut your face, Richard Lyon, but- Why do you tell me to shut up all the time? You keep complaining despite you having the fucking mane of a great beast. Rabble, 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 Oh, God.